Hey guys, it's Jessie V, and today I'm here with Mandy V. Hi. She hasn't been in a video in such a long time, and I'm I so know. excited. I'm so excited. So we came up with this idea the other day because we had like a movie night together, which we like to do every once in a while, and we came across some of the old movies we watched as kids that were so messed up, and I don't think we realized how messed up until we were older mm -hmm. and thought back on it. And it's just so strange that they were kid movies. Like, it's really strange. So we're going to talk about a few of them. Some we haven't seen in a long time so our memory is not the best of them but we're still gonna kind of bring them up maybe you guys know them maybe you don't if not check them out yeah I'll put some <laughs> like pictures and clips from the film as we talk about them just so you guys can sort of see what we Good. mean but let's which one should we talk about first let's talk to the we'll talk about um the one we just recently refreshed our memories on which is Return to Oz I don't think it's supposed to be like Wizard of Oz part two because it's completely different characters I think it's staying more true to like the books rather than like the Disney films or whatever. It's a little bit, I don't want to know, I don't know if it's just it's, like darker. It's just really dark or, and eerie. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's just creepy. It's very creepy and it has a strange vibe to it. It's it's more of like the the books than anything else than the Disney movies. Although it is Disney, I'm pretty sure that. I yeah, think it, it is, is Disney. It is Disney, yeah. But basically it starts off with this little girl who's having dreams about this place called Oz and That her, she's been to before. That she thinks she's been to before and yeah. I think her parents think she's kind of crazy and so they bring her to this place where they're gonna use a machine it's like an electric machine to get mm -hmm. rid of her dreams and she goes to it's like an insane asylum almost it is and what's scary is that it's like storming the night that she goes and you can hear people screaming throughout the hallway and like it's just a very strange atmosphere so it's Dorothy as a kid and she's dreaming about everything that she's been through so like the first movie if you've ever seen the Wizard of Oz she's thinking about all the stuff that happened and um, she knows that it was a real thing she knows that it was something that she really experienced but nobody else believes her like NTM doesn't believe her yeah. whatever else so NTM is the one who takes her to the mental institution and because it's back in the day where they where they didn't really know what they were doing when it comes to medical stuff they they were using electroshock therapy mm. to help but you know a lot of people went insane and a lot of people got like damaged as they put it from this electroshock therapy and when she goes to this place she um, starts hearing like she said people screaming and like moaning and yeah. like crying it's a, it sounds like they're being tortured it's very 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 scary and eerie basically throughout the film it's like she escapes that place and then she ends up in Oz and she like goes on this adventure with her pet chicken who talks <laughs> And there's a lot of like cool moments in it. Let's just go through the things that scared us about the movie. Okay. So you start with yours. Okay. So when I was a kid, there was two parts, and I think Jess and I have the same thing. Yeah. There were two specific parts that really, 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 really messed us up as kids. Yeah. And if we couldn't remember anything else in the movie, those things were the things that we remember distinctively. Yeah. Um, growing up and whatever else. But the first thing that really messed me up was when she goes to the Emerald City for the first time when she came back to Oz, which everybody remembers. It's like a beautiful, shiny green city and there's so many people there and there's munchkins and whatever yeah. else. There was nobody there and all there was was stone and all the emeralds were gone. And she, it was like abandoned. All the characters were stone frozen and she was like wandering around and the music was creepy and like the vibe was off and like she was all alone there. And then mm -hmm. she saw all of her friends, like the Cowardly Lion and the, the Tin Woodsman and all that. They they were all frozen solid and everybody looked scared. Then on the wall it says beware of the wheelers and the wheelers are these creatures that are like kind of they resemble like clowns almost mm -hmm. and their arms are really long and their legs are really long and the, their hands are wheels so they wheel around and they laugh. Their and laugh is haunting. They laugh and their voices are really like goofy and silly but they're evil like they're yeah. they do not want to help you they do not they're not there for you they're, they're there to kidnap you and bring you to number two on our list, <laughs> the scariest part of the movie. Yeah. But before we get into the number two, okay. I just want to show you guys a clip of these wheelers because please, they're terrifying. Do. And you guys have to see this, so here you go. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> You have to come out sooner or later. And when you do, we'll tear you into little pieces. <laughs> 
All right, so then number two that used to scare us is this lady called Mombi, and she lives um, in this place. Is it, I don't know, is it the castle? It's, it's the castle, the big Emerald City castle that used to be. She took off her own head, and her own head she thought, I guess, was ugly. So she got a bunch of other heads, and she, she has this room full of glass cases of heads. heads, and they're all numbered. And um, she'll be like, oh, I feel like wearing number four today. And then she'll like take off her head, put it in the case and then walk over to the number four to pick it up and put it on and you know adjust it as needed yeah. and then she becomes that that person so it's it's really 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 creepy there's this one scene where Dorothy has to go and get a key from mommy's wrist while she's sleeping so she sneaks into the room and she goes to get this key and she realizes that she's actually sleeping without a head now so all the other heads in the glass cases are sleeping as well so she has to be quiet and she also had to get this potion that makes people live or whatever. So she goes to this case where the original head is sleeping and she sees the potion there. So she goes to grab the potion and it knocks over and she wakes up this head and the head starts screaming Ugh. and screaming and screaming and her, she knows the name so she's like Dorothy Gale and they all start screaming yeah. all of the heads so eerie. start screaming and then all of a sudden the body wakes up and it's without a head and it just sits up in bed literally from a horror movie this is a horror movie I don't know how this is a Disney movie yeah. I don't know literally I don't know anybody that even knows this movie exists exists <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not passionate about this I can't even speak I don't even know words nobody I know knows about this movie and when I found out that it was a Disney movie I was even more shocked because I couldn't believe that they would make a movie like this and give it to kids or show it to kids yeah and I don't even know anyone that knows it so that makes it even more creepy. that scares me which is kind of number three for me is that as Dorothy kind of walks through this land the rocks like have faces on them and they'll follow her around as she walks and that really creeped me out so I'll show a couple clips of that but yeah it's just a really weird movie and it as well at the end which is I mean like it didn't mess me up too much but like any like young kid watching it maybe they could I don't know, they could, it could mess them up a bit, is that um, the Gnome King, which is the big rock man who has taken over Oz completely. <laughs> Why do we always hear sounds whenever you're here? <laughs> Wow, I definitely, I definitely hope that the camera caught that. It was like a knocking. That was so creepy. Okay. So, anyways, when the Gnome King comes, he, like, wants to eat them, and when he opens his mouth, inside his mouth is fire. Legit fire. Like, he's, like, this is, like, the portal to hell, people. Like, yeah. that's all I could think of, and I was just like, wow, oh, this is, like, crazy. It's like, so messed up. This is really, really, really scary. But can we just talk about how we, we watched this film recently, and we were kind of just, like, analyzing it and trying to like sum it up of like what it all means or whatever and we went online and we looked up what the actual meaning behind it was because there had to be some kind of meaning each character that was in her life like the people at the the mental asylum the woman that was taking care of her and even the doctor they all were like symbols of people that were actually in Oz do you remember that mm -hmm. so we we're like this kind of weird so we looked it up online and there was a couple conspiracy theories on the actual film which was is that Dorothy is actually crazy and she kind of just um, made up this entire situation up in her head and like she's actually like going insane and it's creepy it's really creepy you should like look it up so the other movie I wanted to talk about was mirror mask and I remember our grandma showed this to us one day when we went to her house and it was such it was such a weird movie and it gave me nightmares afterwards and even the cover of this film is like really strange and you're like what the heck is this about? And I don't remember the entire premise, so I'm just going to read what it says on IMDb. It says, in a fantasy world of opposing kingdoms, a 15-year-old girl must find the fabled mirror mask in order to save the kingdom and get home. And there's a few things I remember from this film that freak me out still. There's a cat that follows her around, and it has a face of a man, and it talks, and it almost looks like it has devil horns instead of cat ears, and he always freaked me out. So if I can find a clip of him talking to her, I will insert it here. Halt! You shall not pass. I bet I shall. 
Riddle. Riddle. Answer my riddle, and only then you can pass. Fail, and I devour you, bones and all. And um, there's also another scene. Do you remember that scene where those things are singing? It's like, why do birds suddenly oh, appear? It's when she's starting to turn like evil or something. Yeah. And like these beings that are in this world are like trying to like make her evil. Why do birds suddenly appear? So like her eyes go all black. Do you remember? Her yeah. eyes turn black and like she like she's turning into like this evil thing. Mm -hmm. They like put like makeup on her and like because she's a very like she seems very um like tomboyish. Tomboyish and like very like she's a really cool looking girl or whatever. And um they make they put all this makeup on her and they turn her into something that she's not. They also make her into like this evil like queen or something. The ruler of the kingdom or the princess of the kingdom or something like that. Yeah, it's just like the whole movie I don't know what it's uh what's that word you know when Sinister? they have like the the gears and the grunge what is it called and it's steampunk steampunk is the word yes steampunk. it's very steampunk looking but it's very dark and um very gray and very neutral colored everything's neutral it's colored. pretty cool and like I remember her having like this best friend in it that has like this weird mask on yeah. all the time like the entire time and I remember her like drawing these weird doodles like in the beginning of the movie and putting them all over her room and like they sort of become like alive or whatever. Yeah. I remember that. It was it was almost more like an art piece than a, yeah. a film. It's really cool. It was very abstract is probably a good way to put it. Yeah. Anyways, what movie do I want to talk about next? Labyrinth. Labyrinth. David we Bowie. We should start this off with saying that this is one of the best movies ever. I love this movie. I mean, it's kind of weird. It's kind of trippy. It's old. Mm -hmm. I think it's from the 80s, which isn't that old, but the 80s was the best time period and one of the best things about this movie is David Bowie is in it, stars yeah. in it, and he's like this um, this witch king. He like falls in love with this girl who is, the whole story kind of wraps around her and her adventure and trying to find her little brother who the witch king takes from her. So she has to overcome this series of, of obstacles inside this labyrinth that he created mm -hmm. in order for her to save her little brother. But this labyrinth is full of like weird things. She keeps like running into these situations that she has to get out of and it's the whole thing is really trippy and um there's a lot of like puppet work in it yeah and um they're, they're those are weird claymation though. and all these things and it was it was really cool it was really 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 cool and it's all like music from david bowie and he sings in it <laughs> the music it's is really, really cool. good like it's mandy really cool. and i know all the words and, i like, legit it's... have some of this music on my ipod right now like yeah it's good it's really good it's really good um what i find kind of messed up though is how i mean the age gap i mean he is quite older than this girl like she's like what 15 like she's yeah. really young and he's could be her father's like an age of a father to her and he loves her like he's I always found that her. strange like when I first watched it as a kid it didn't really click when I got older I was like that is wrong <laughs> like, I guess yeah it is pretty wrong aside from that it was it's a good movie it's just weird I remember the scene with like the hands where she's being touched by all those hands and stuff well she falls down this hole she opens this door and she falls down this hole and in this hole is just a bunch of hands like grabbing her and yeah. when they talk they go into like these like you know how people create weird things with, with their, their hands, hands and it, make it looks talk. like a face yeah it looks like a face and they do all these crazy cool things that make each character look like a different face and mm -hmm. like they can talk with their hands and it's really cool you should put a clip on I so. should try and find a clip of that try and find a clip because it sounds weird when we talk about it What do you mean, help? We are helping. <laughs> we are helping hands. The so ones creepy thing, because I really love this movie, like everything about this movie, but the one thing that I really didn't like that much was when it's towards the end of the movie, she ends up in this trash dump where there's a bunch of like trash creatures all around. She finds her like, I don't know if she finds like her bedroom door or something like that, but she ends up going inside of it and she's all of a sudden she's back into her room and she's like looking around her room and she has all her stuffed animals that she loves and her makeup and everything and you think that she actually is home and you're like really 
relieved for her or whatever and then she like goes back to the door and opens it up again and she's like back and she wasn't really yeah, it was, that it's was not creepy. really her room like that it's creepy it's completely an illusion and it was actually so creepy and like the the girl that was in it like the the trash girl is so creepy and I just ugh. so another movie uh, that we find really weird is called the dark crystal it's from 1982 and we haven't seen this movie in a long time so we're a bit uh, we don't know too much about it because it's been forever but I did watch it like a year ago did you so I do kind of I'll remember. read uh, I'll kind of read what it says on IMDb it says on another planet in the distant past a gelfling embarks on a quest to find the missing shard of a magical crystal and so restore order to his world and whenever I think of this movie I think of these creepy vulture bird things they're really 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 tall Ugh. and they have the worst voices that you could ever think of yeah. they, they talk like this and like their voices are like super high and they go yeah, I'll find clips of them talking. Like, it's weird. They make, like, these weird noises, like, moaning noises. Yeah. Like, 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 all the time. But they, they want to, like, kill you. Show them girlfriends will not harm us. Please. Please. Please? Please? Wait! Please make peace! <laughs> Basically, they like take these like innocent like munchkin like happy munchkin things. They're not munchkins. They're, <laughs> munchkins. Like, they're like little munchkins. They're like little like they're gelflings, aren't they? Gelflings. They're so cute. I love them, and they're also happy and they dance and they play. But when they get kidnapped, they like strap them to this like chair and they like suck the life out of them for their own power, for the power of the dark crystal. And so you, when when you see this poor like innocent pure thing get the life sucked out of them, like you can see like their faces start like getting sunken in and they start getting old yeah. and it, it's really dark and it's really creepy and one of the the main girls in it that you like learn to love gets like stabbed at the end by one of these creepy bird things bird things <laughs> whatever really, they I whatever they are they like worship this it's like crystal. a cult yeah it's, it's like so a cult. weird they they worship this crystal thing but this is a kids movie yeah this is a kids movie i literally can't yeah. i literally can't it's very strange and then we have, there's another one that we we love it's called the last unicorn and not a lot of people know this movie I tell so many of my friends I'm like have you ever seen it they have no idea what it is but recently it's been put on Netflix which I'm very surprised about but it's a very it's a very good movie it's just for a kids movie it has some strange things like there's she, there's nudity in it like the main character she becomes nude because she goes from unicorn to human there's a lot of like witchcraft and there's this creepy bird yeah that like only she can hear the voice of it like talks to her in her head I'll try and find a clip of that it's very very eerie it like tries to like convince her to like do things <laughs> we are two sides of the same magic let her go Let me free. and then there's like this evil fiery bull that is like killing and eating all of the the unicorns in the world so she becomes the last unicorn because this crazy bull thing has taken away all of the unicorns and it's a big scary issue but when you see the bull it's like whoa like that's extra like that it's that's too much like yeah. how is that a thing and then um yeah there's a lot of creepy parts like when when oh, she the goes skeleton the skeleton yeah yeah, that, that, that when I was, was a kid, nothing freaked me up more than, um, I don't know why I keep doing this, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <Freaking. laughs> I literally, this is my thing. Um, nothing creeped me out more than this skeleton that just loves wine. And now that I'm older, I understand. Like, I, I understand. It's understand love for love, wine. Yes. And when I was a kid, I was totally, like, I was totally confused about why he was so crazy about wine. But when he, his eyes went red and he was like, unicorn. Like that. <laughs> he was like, unicorn. No. No, you don't. <laughs> Not that one. Unicorn! Hang on! Hang on! Unicorn! Okay, when you're an adult, it's a little funny, okay? It's but as a kid, it messes funny. you up. But when you were a kid, like, I dreamt about this guy. Like, I was scared. There's other movies. Like, I know Coraline was... As, I, Coraline's that's, first the of best all, movie. It's amazing. It's creepy. I don't think Coraline's meant for kids, though. It's a Tim Burton film. All Tim Burton films, like Nightmare Before Christmas and Corpse Bride and stuff, I don't think stuff like that. Because it's about, like, skeletons and Halloween and monsters. And although it has some... some 
some sort of upbeat kind of thing to it. It's still kind of like kids shouldn't be watching stuff like that just because it's a little creepy. Unless you were a creepy kid because I was a creepy kid and I love that. I yeah. love that stuff. I also know like Pan's Labyrinth. Everyone knows the uh, the creepy thing with the hands over the eyes. That's messed up. Um, that's I not don't, a kid's movie I don't movie, think though. it's a kid's movie. It's actually a quite disturbing movie that's meant for definitely adults. But I know that Mandy and I watched it when we were younger because we didn't know. And I think we had to turn it off. Don't watch that movie if you're super young because it's it's weird. It's pretty scary. But I think she has to complete a bunch of like quests and stuff to uh, save her mom or something. I don't remember exactly, but it's and a strange movie. Another movie that we could add on to this is um, The NeverEnding Story, I think. NeverEnding Story was... I do love that movie quite a lot. Because I don't think kids nowadays would know. Would really know that. Even like my own friends that are my age or older don't know about this movie. I just found it to be a sad movie. Like the whole Very time depressing. you see this beautiful world that's being destroyed by, is it called the darkness? I the think darkness. it's called the darkness is coming and um, there's this really scary wolf that really freaked me out. And you always saw the wolf in the darkness. You and just saw his, his eyes. eyes. Because people have begun to lose their hope and forget their dreams. That part that was just, creepy. Just, just. What are those called? The, that scared me so bad. There were these two statues, I'll try and find a clip of it, but um, these two statues that this guy comes across, I don't know what they're called, but they're like glowing they, statues. But they talk. They remember they talked and then they started falling apart? Yeah. There's a bunch of scenes from Never Ending Story that's weird. That were messed up, but like, do you remember the horse? Oh, the Falcon or whatever his name is. Yeah. No, the, Falcor. the horse. Falcor. You see like this beautiful horse, like it, it gets stuck in the mud. It I gets, like cried. It gets stuck in the mud. This part. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> the horse gets, st oh, I'm literally gonna cry. That was so sad. Okay, so How did they film that? This boy is literally going on this journey and throughout this entire journey, this horse has been his companion. His, this horse has loved him throughout thick and thin. He's got him out of situations. They've been through it all together. And then they start walking through this mud that's it's become sinking. like, it's becoming like quicksand. And this horse gets stuck in it and it just, it dies. It, it gets stuck in the mud. And th the scene is so long and you just see it sinking. It's and like struggling and you're like, like oh. It's like trying to move and then, and and then the, the pain. little boy, the little boy's like pulling its reins and like the horse is just, it's just there. And then at the end of the whole thing, the boy is just left holding the horse's head as it sinks. It's just, <laughs> it's just horrible. It's just horrible. Fighting against the sadness, Artex. You're letting the sadness of the swamps get to you. You have to try. Okay, anyways though, I think uh, we've talked enough about the weird movies we watched this is, as kids. This whole video has just been like an emotional... An emotional journey. It's... I'm <laughs> exhausted. Like... I am exhausted. I feel like I've just been on an emotional roller coaster. But what I really want you guys to tell us is the ones that you've seen, because we don't want to feel like the only ones. So if you've seen any of these movies, like Mirror Mask or like the ones that are so weird, please tell us down below. Or if you can think of other scary sort of movies that are meant for kids that you've seen, put them down below. Or as just well. any creepy movies in general. We like creepy. Creepy movies. We like creepy. But um, anyways, thanks for being here for another video, Mandy. We'll have to do one soon again. Yes. And uh, yeah, sleep well tonight, guys. And I'll uh, see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.